Hi, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about baby's position in mom's pelvis. So the ideal position for labor is what is called LOA, which means left occiput anterior. So when we say left, we are talking about mother's left side of her pelvis. The occiput is the back of baby's head right here. And anterior means mom's front. So we want baby to be on the left side and it's occiput anterior. The next position we're gonna talk about is LOT, which means, again, mom's left side, baby's occiput is transverse on mom's left side. Transverse means side to side. The next position is LOP. So again, mom's left side, but baby's occiput is now posterior. Posterior means towards your posterior or your back. And this can create a lot of back labor if baby is posterior. So we want to avoid posterior babies. We'll go over how to avoid posterior babies in another episode. So make sure to stay tuned. The next position is ROA, which means that baby is on mom's right side of her pelvis and baby's back of the head or occiput is anterior. And then ROT means right occiput transverse, side to side. And then ROP means mom's right side and baby's occiput or back of the head is posterior, which again can create a lot of back labor. The other positions are OA, which just means baby's occiput is straight anterior. This is how we want baby to come out of the vagina. The other position is OP, which means that the back of baby's head is straight posterior. They're not to the left or to the right, they're straight posterior. And again, this can create a lot of back labor. So you would want to talk with your doula and ask her how to get baby in a better position before labor comes. Doing things during pregnancy can shave hours off of your labor, which is ideal. In another episode, we will talk about why baby's position matters for labor, not only for pain, but the best way to get out of mom's pelvis. So stay tuned. See you next time.